The fourth component of habitat is places to raise young. Adult wildlife need resources in order to have their babies and raise them, and some species actually have different needs at different times in their life cycle. The best habitats accommodate those needs. Again, look to your plants. Birds and squirrels build nests in densely planted trees and shrubs. Woodpeckers create nesting cavities and snags, which are then used by other birds and mammals. You can also put out nesting boxes for birds that mimic these natural tree cavities. Bat boxes like this one here are often used by female bats as nursery colonies. Frogs and dragonflies need clean bodies of standing water where they can lay their eggs. Butterfly caterpillars can only eat certain plants, which are called their host plant. Without these host plants, adult butterflies will stop in your garden for a sip of nectar, but they'll probably keep flying on in search of a host plant to lay their eggs. So if you plant both host plants and nectar plants, you provide for butterflies in all stages of life. Now, the classic example of the butterfly-host plant relationship is monarch butterflies and milkweed. Now, there's lots of different species of milkweed. One of them is swamp milkweed, and that's what this plant is in front of me. Not only is it a great nectar source for the adult butterflies, but it's a great host plant as well.